All right, guys, today we're gonna just give you some tips on how to cut Look, a crybaby. Today, we're gonna cut a crybaby. And trust me, for a lot of people, this is not the easiest thing to do. It can be frustrating, but I'm just gonna help you by giving you some tips. This is not a haircut tutorial. This is just some advice on how to cut crybabies. And the first thing you gotta know is you gotta be patient because this particular baby in my chair, he's only two years old. And two-year-olds, they don't want haircut. They can barely even explain how they feel. The only way they feel is like this. So we're gonna do our best to just make it simple. And by making it simple, the first thing that you need to do is to be real with the parent. So you need to tell the mom, I'm gonna be able to do what the baby's gonna let me do. I'm gonna give the baby a baby haircut. He's gonna get a natural haircut. Natural is the key word for babies. That is the best word that you can use for babies. Natural. And that means we're just gonna remove a lot of bulk off the sides of his head and and we'll leave it a little longer on top and it, a lot of times it depends on the baby some babies are actually more curious and they want the haircut they like the experience but it's very very common for a baby to just cry before his haircut even starts i've had plenty of babies in my chair and it always does help if mom is there or dad is there and mom and dad sits down on the chair that does help calm down the baby so we're gonna explain to the parent hey look you you showed me a picture of this bald fade with a part on the side of his head but we gotta be realistic your baby is not gonna allow me to give him that kind of a haircut uh, because he's he's unpredictably moving so i'm gonna i'm gonna be the the professional i'm gonna be the professional barber i'm good at what i do and i'm gonna give him a natural haircut we're just gonna get rid of all that bulk on the sides we're just gonna you know freshen up his look we might not be able to give him a lineup probably no lineup in the front natural is good if the baby calms down halfway through the haircut, then maybe I'll line him up. But if he's fighting me <laughs> the entire haircut, then we are not going to be able to give him the, the most ideal haircut. We're just going to have to go with, with, uh, with natural. So we might not be able to line up this baby. I might be able to clean him up behind the ears and get the hair that, that would hang over the ears with like a one and a half. And I'll just get real close with that one and a half. Maybe I'll do a one on the baby, but more than likely I'll do a two and up, maybe a one and a half. If the baby behaves really good, I've had babies come to me, you know, months after months, and they go from getting like a two on the sides because their hair is really long and they're starting to look like a girl. And then eventually, we build them up, their confidence in coming to the barbershop. And then they can eventually get the haircut that the mom always wanted, which is the a bald fade with the comb over and the line. And, and then the parents are happy and the baby gets used to me. The baby ends up liking me. I've had babies come to me and their situation is that they cry every time and then they grow up and they get older and now they're like five or six or seven years old and their mom will be like, he didn't want to get a haircut anywhere else. He only wants you to do it. So it's just a lot of it is going to take repetition and time because a baby cries about anything. I have kids. I have kids 
and my kids cry because I didn't give them the lollipop at night. And I, <laughs> my kids cry for stupid stuff, man. All kids cry for, for dumb things, okay? So we're just gonna try and be patient. We're gonna try and be patient. It's good to acknowledge the kid. You always wanna be like, it's okay, it's just a haircut. I, I have my baby voice. And I'll be like, it's okay, it's just a haircut. You're doing a good job. Even if the baby's fighting and fussing the whole time, you just tell the baby, you're doing a good job. You're big, you're brave. You're not a cry baby, right? So just be nice to the baby. And this baby in particular, he was kind of fussing and moving a lot, but he ended up being still enough and he was crying a lot less. He was still kind of, you know, crying with his voice, but he wasn't really crying with his body. He wasn't fussing around that much anymore. So I ended up feeling comfortable to the point where I could um, line him up. So I ended up lining him up around the edges, the back and the sideburns. We're almost done with this haircut. This tutorial is pretty quick. I took about 20 minutes. This entire video unedited is 20 minutes, but all I did was speed it up by two. I don't want to have too long of a video. Anyways, natural is the key word. It's good to always be nice to the baby. Sometimes I will get the machine and I'll be like, look, this is, this is the machine. It doesn't hurt. It just tickles a little bit. And I'll be like, do you want to cut my hair? And I will let the baby cut the hair on my somewhat hairy arms. I got some hair on my arms. They don't look that hairy in this video. <laughs> but doing something like that, now the baby holds the clipper, you're holding the baby's hand. And you're guiding the baby into cutting the hair on your arms. And you could be like, you see, it's not that bad here. Touch, touch the machine while it's on, it just tickles. And you let them touch the teeth of the machine, which if you have your machine set right, should not ever hurt at all whatsoever you should be testing your machine on your own forearm and push down a little bit if you push down a little bit lightly and it hurts yourself then your machine is set too sharp but i mean a lot of it just takes a lot of it just depends on the baby i've had babies that are uncontrollable and they fuss and they fight and you know what? I was not able to do my best job. And the mom understands. And, and, I, and I, first and foremost, make it known to the mom. Well, the haircut that he's going to get is going to be dependent on him, you know? And you can always warm him up and let him know. I bribe kids with lollipops. But sometimes, that just doesn't work. Babies are babies. So I try my best. And I tell, I tell the parent. I tell the parent. Hey, we're going to give him a baby haircut because that's what he's going to let me give him. Oh, and right now the kid is playing with the phone. That's great. I let kids play with my phone sometimes. I actually have an iPad in the barbershop. That's normally like my register also. But sometimes I'll just let the kid watch like YouTube videos or something, you know, like baby shark. Something that'll calm the kid down. That helps a lot. But don't, don't stress yourself out. If anyways, a good way to think about a baby haircut is that the head is smaller. So it's gonna take less overall cutting. And don't let a parent be like, oh, well, this baby in the picture got a skin fade and comb over. Well, you gotta be real with the parent. You gotta be like, but look at how your baby is behaving. Not that that baby's behaving badly. Babies are just babies and all babies are going to behave differently. But that's pretty much some of the tips I got. I might do another crybaby video. I really don't see many barbers doing crybaby tips, but that's pretty much it. And the baby ended up liking his haircut. Um, he ends up giving me high five later. <laughs> the mom is happy. He had a lot of hair. He, he was starting to look like the kid from Jungle Book, and now he's looking normal again. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Be patient. Be nice. You know, you, you're going to have to turn your, your baby voice on and be like, you're doing a good job. You look good. 
and that that's pretty much it right there it's not my best work but it's definitely much better than it was and the mom was happy that's the most important thing the mom was happy and right here the, the kid ends up giving me a high five uh, <laughs> he's he's so cool he even dabs my hand right there with the fist pump uh very cute little guy right there but yeah man if you guys are new to the channel subscribe hit the like button it really does help my channel a lot i do a lot of tutorial videos um uh, i like doing designs like the one you're watching right now so yeah man subscribe um, I'm going to be playing video games pretty soon. So if you guys want to watch me play some PlayStation games like The Last of Us, I'll be on that. So peace.